What's poppin' T-Squad? I'm not yelling anymore, baby. It's time for questions and answers. Because we get a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the questions, <clears throat> it's a lot of repeat questions, so we'll do pretty much all of them. But if it's yours specifically didn't get answered, probably did get answered, just, you know, does that make sense? Oh, <clears throat> excuse my voice. I'm like in and out of getting my voice back and losing it, but um, yeah, we're gonna go through those it's questions you talk again. Too much. <laughs> so we're yeah. gonna go through those questions again, and also some other questions that we get asked a lot. So, mm -hmm. so we wrote, we looked through all our um, questions or all our comments this morning, and we're picking all the questions that are asked a lot and that are relevant. But first, we each can eat a warhead. So you guys can't say we only did it to Cali. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> the first one, Brandy Bland asks, where are you guys from? Your boyfriend sounds like he is from the Caribbean. And this question in general, where we're from, our accents, my accent specifically is the number one question we get asked by far. So, start with where you were born and then the places that <clears throat> you've been and what influences that has on how you talk. All right, so I was born in BC, which is British Columbia, the west coast of Canada. Um, spent a bit of time in Los Angeles, California. From there, moved to Toronto. Um, Scarborough, actually, east side of Toronto. Um, neighborhood in Toronto, and I've been here for eight years. So. <clears throat> accent wise like it's a bit of mix of all these places but predominantly like it's the Caribbean accent influenced by Scarborough because Scarborough is like strongly Caribbean cultured all my friends are like Caribbean and whatnot and been living with Keisha's family who's Caribbean so that's probably like the strongest part of my accent um, Keisha so me <clears throat> I was born in Toronto yeah, Scarborough. You're born and raised in Scarborough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Scarborough is a, is a neighborhood in Toronto. East side. Um, and spending all my days on the east side. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, and I've just lived in different parts of Scarborough. Um, but people think that he sounds more Caribbean than mm -hmm. me. So. But you actually are Caribbean. So Keisha's born here, but she's Bayesian. Yeah, sorry. Bayesian so, and Dominican. Um, I'm born in Toronto, but my mom is from Dominica, and my dad is from Barbados. But my dad, um, my dad's father is Grenadian. But that's getting way too far back. But yeah, but you're, you're, you're Bayesian and Dominican. All right, I'm Bayesian and Dominican, <clears throat> but I'm Canadian. And me, my roots, like, um, my my parents are, like, European, so I'm a whole bunch of different countries, but predominantly, like, Czech, Czech Slovakian, English, a uh, little bit of Irish, which is why I kind of get the red beard, and a few other countries, but yeah. So yeah, that's where we from, that's where we live, that's our accents. Next question. Next. Wife, mom, and nurse asks, when are you guys getting married? I wouldn't know, so... We gotta wait and see! Until the day I get that ring... I feel, I feel pressure on all, you, all you guys. You guys are kind of giving me... You guys well, are giving me motivation. You got, he anyways. knows the time is anyways. ticking. <laughs> uh, ShayFab97, they ask... This is a random question, but how tall are you, Trey? It's a good question. I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'2", 6'1 and a half, 6'2", 6'2 with shoes on, so 6'2". I used to play basketball. I was pretty good, but I wasn't tall enough. So I was, I'm tall, but not tall enough for it to be basketball. NBA, you know what I mean? I had hoop dreams. Balling. But <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty good, too. I had a full no, basketball good. scholarship. I haven't played in years, but like the muscle memory is still there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I used to play ball too, but that's irrelevant. <laughs> we were ballers, but now we balling in different ways, you know what I mean? Next question is... This question relates to our story time about racism vlog. So, this question is from Sue E. 
And the question is, um, what, which city was this? I'm from Toronto and I take road trips sometime, etc., etc. Yeah. But the question is, what city did we experience that racism, Story. racist kind of thing? Yeah. It, um, was. it was a city called Woodstock. Um, and that is, what direction like, is that? It's like north, I think. <laughs> it's like maybe an hour and a half north of Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's a good place, good city. You know, we just had that experience there. Nothing against people at Woodstock. How old are you oh, guys? Nothing. Sorry. <clears throat> this question is from Scribbler of Dreams. And the question is, how old are you guys? <laughs> good question. We look young, right? Because I get ID'd every time I go to the liquor store or whatever. But believe it or not, I'm 26. Um, and... I'm 26. We're 26, I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually born in the same year, 1989, 80, last of the 80s babies. My birthday's coming up in February, February 19, you know what I mean? Keisha's birthday. Is September 24th. September. Next question. All right. Here, I'll ask this, this one. one. Yeah. Next question. Monique Fletcher asked Keisha, is that a Libra symbol on your back? Yes, it is. I am a Libra. Um, Hold on, let's show the tap. True. So, yeah, um, it depends on which horoscope I look at. Sometimes I'm born on the cusp, but I'm mainly a Libra, but I do feel like I have Virgo traits sometimes, but yes, I'm a Libra. Well, you know what? On that subject, hold this for a second. I actually have my sign. What's tattoo. your sign? Pisces and Aquarius, but I'm I'm more so Pisces, so see that? Um this question <clears throat> is from Tara Longchamp and the question is do you guys get worried letting Callie go downstairs alone or does her brother go with her? Um so good question, Callie good is question. quite experienced when it comes to the stairs. <laughs> um sometimes she goes down on her bum. But lately, she's been holding on to the railing because she sees Camaro doing it. So, usually when she holds the railing and she's going down, she'll hold it up until the point where the stairs start to turn. And then she'll sit down and then go down the rest. So, she's pretty good with it. She hasn't fallen. She's been going down for a long time. Like mm -hmm. When she was learning, she'd go down on her bomb and we'd always be there with her. But she's literally been going down the stairs now for like a year. Mm -hmm. So she's like, even if we try to help her, she won't let she us. No help. She goes up and down all day nonstop <clears throat> and it's carpeted, so. This question is from a dash of shy or a dash, a dash of chai. When you guys say you're from Toronto, do you mean the GTA or Toronto, Toronto? So Scarborough, I don't know, it's, I guess it is like GTA, it's, it's kind of like an area of Toronto, it's a neighborhood, but it's Toronto. It's Toronto because <clears throat> GTA, they mean like Brampton, yeah, true. Pickering, whatever, true. and people still say, yeah, we're in Toronto, yeah. but they're really not. So we're not so like, we are in Toronto. We're not in our own municipality, we're in Toronto, Toronto. Yeah. So yeah, we're in Toronto, we're in Scarborough. Scar Town, you know what I mean? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Next one. Oh, that's it. There's no more questions, like any, um, oh, there was one question that actually sparked an argument, and the question was, how old were we when we had kids? So it wasn't really a question, it was kind of just, one person made a comment and it kind of just sparked, Turned into a discussion, yeah. yeah. So, um, BV Mar, Martin, said, when they said kids, I was like, what? Aren't they like 19, 20 years old? Thank you, but no, we're not. <laughs> but... We were we were that age 19. when we had kids. Yeah, I think yeah we were 19 when we met. He mm -hmm. turned no. <clears throat> when, yeah, 18. when we when we had Camaro, we were 18 turning 19. No, when we had Camaro, you were already 20, oh. and I turned 20 two months before okay. he was born. So so we met when I was 18. Yeah. I turned 19 later that year. You turned 19 the month after I met you. Yeah. And then the year after, when we had Camaro, we were both 20 years old. Yeah, so yeah, we had our son when we were 20. Um, <clears throat> we're 26 now, as we said, he's six years old. And basically on this topic, like, that is young. Like, a lot of people were like, oh, you guys are young, whatever, whatever. That's kind of like generally what society says. But having a kid for me, like it honestly was the best thing for me. Mm -hmm. it, it got me like on track, it got me focused, I had purpose, I had like motivation. I was like up to no good before I had Camaro, like I didn't really know what I was doing with my life. 
it could be a bad thing if you're not yeah. ready, but it could also be a huge, it's always a blessing, but it could really be like what you need to kickstart your life, so. And also we were like very responsible. We had our <clears> own <throat> place, we were paying our own rent. We had jobs, <clears throat> so it's not like we were, not to say leeching off everybody, anybody, but like, we had all our things in mm -hmm. order. We were, had our own income. We had our own place. Everything was in in line for yeah, us. Yeah, we weren't like so. relying on nobody to take care of our kid for us. So mm -hmm. that kind of wraps up the Q and A. You know what I mean? Um, that's it. So we hope some of you <clears throat> you guys questions that have been out there. You, you know you're gonna watch this and they'll be answered. Keep them coming. We like doing this. We'll probably do a Q&A like at least once a month. So mm -hmm. we don't answer your comment right away. Just keep in mind, you know, we'll, we will answer it in the in the Q&As. Um, and yeah, as always, thanks for the support. Yep, and squad. we will see the squad soon. Yeah, and we back on track. We be vlogging more. You know what I mean? We got lots of footage to release. We got to edit up and release. And as I said in the last vlog, guys, the hats are restocking this week. I'm gonna put an Instagram post out today announcing the official date. So when you're watching this, the dates should be released, it should be out, and get ready to order because they're gonna sell out quick. And we out, y'all. Have a good day, have a blessed day. You know, we love all you guys. Peace, Peace out.